Hi guys, Melvin here from Neuron Digital. Welcome to the second part of the tutorial. In this part, we will be going to customize the Android app using Android Studio. So let's go ahead and open it up. You can find the code here, open up Android Studio and click open up an existing Android Studio project. Make sure you have Sid Guide highlighted and click OK. The first thing you should do when the app opens is to click on this little gear icon here and make sure to have compact empty middle packages unhighlighted, like so. Open up app, Java, Neuron Digital, and we're going to rename the package ID. So right click on Neuron Digital, Refactor, Rename, and put in your company name or your domain name in here and click Refactor. I'm going to leave it the same and we're going to do the same thing for City Guide. So right click on City Guide, Refactor, rename and I'm going to rename this as city guide tutorial click refactor click on the refactor and as you can see the app name has changed to city guide tutorial now open up gradle scripts and open up the module app here and we're going to put in the same package name that we used here in here so I'm just going to add tutorial and click on sync now when that finishes you will notice this small error here this is because the json file of firebase doesn't match anymore so we need to replace it to do so we need to open up firebase once again and go to notifications click on android and put in your package name here click on register app and you can download the new google services json file from here Go back to Android Studio, click on Project Files, and we need to replace this file here with the new JSON file. If you encounter this error by replacing the files, just click OK. You need to open up the JSON file and just put in your new package name here instead of the old one, and just close it up and click Build and Clean. And when that's done, you should be able to replace the JSON file without any problems. Congratulations, you have now finished the first part of the tutorial. At this point, you should be able to run the app. So just click play here and I'm going to choose a virtual device. And as you can see, the app has loaded and is connected to the demo server. The next step is to connect the app to our server. So to do this, let's go back to Android Studio, click on Android here, open up app, Java, Neuron Digital, City Guide Tutorial, and we're going to choose configurations. So the server URL is here. We just need to replace this URL here with our new URL. And we can run the app again to test if it's connected to the new server. As you can see, it has connected successfully to our new server. So now we can go back to the app to continue our configuration. From the same configurations file, you have a lot of settings which you can configure to your own likings. For example, you can turn on and off the user system or remove the news, which is the, the blog in the app. You can also enable or disable the login screen background image from here. And if you go down, you can also enable or disable the in-app purchase feature by putting in your public key in here and replacing this android.test.purchased here with your product ID from Google Play so that you can charge your users for upgrading to premium. If you wish to make use of this feature, you need to purchase the extended license from Code Canyon. If you haven't done so, you can purchase it from this link. Okay, we're done from this file. Now we can go to strings.xml. From this file, you can start by replacing the app name from here. If you wish to replace the currency, you can replace it from here as well. All the text in the app is being retrieved from this file, so you can translate the app easily from this file. If you scroll to the bottom of the file, you can find places where to put your admob add unit IDs to enable either the interstitial ads the banner ads or the native ads. When you get your admob ID, just place it here to enable interstitial ads. If you leave the space empty, the ads will automatically be disabled. In this line, you need to put your Google Maps API key. You need to get it from here once again, as we did in the first tutorial. A very important ID that you need to change from the app template is the Facebook app ID. Without it, the app will not work properly. So to get your own ID here, you need to go to this link. So let's open it. When you open up the link, you will be greeted by this page here. So go to my apps and click on add a new app. And you need to enable the use of the Facebook login button in order to get to Facebook app ID and the Facebook login protocol scheme that you need to put in here. When you have done this, you can open up the colors.xml here. And from here, you can change any colors in the app. So for example, you have your primary and accent colors in here. So just replace those color codes with your own color codes. To replace the app icons, you need to go to map, map right click, new, 
click on image asset make sure you have launcher icons here selected replace ic launcher with icon select image choose your image from this button here and when you're done click on next and finish and your icons have been replaced with the new ones as you can see all the static images in the app are in the drawable folder so if you need to replace any you can do so by just replacing any of these images in here when you're done from that you can go ahead and run the app once again but this time we're going to open up android monitor and we're going to type hash in here to retrieve the facebook hash key which we need to give to the facebook developer panel in order for the facebook login to work something important to note about this key is that you need to obtain it twice so once during development and once after you create the signed apk file if you don't follow this process the facebook login will not work in your production apk file okay so once that's done you can go ahead and build the project so go to build generate signed apk and you can follow this user to export your new city guide app apk file which you can then upload to google play mm -hmm.